The sewage treatment works to the east of London serves the homes of more than three million people. It's usually a smooth flowing business, but not always. And when things go wrong, it's a job for grime fighter Bob. Well, if we get a blockage, you'd have to shut down that part of the process so it doesn't overflow. The first stage in the process is to remove unwanted materials. These are called cool, cool screens. As you can see, these um, extract inorganic material from the uh, sewers and deposit it in the bins. You'd mainly find rag, uh, plastics, wood, sanitary towels, uh, wet wipes. All of these types of things could be disposed of by the people who flush them at present down the toilet. These are working 24 hours, seven days a week, all year round. But this equipment has to be cleaned from time to time. It is a tricky bit of the job, yeah. You tend to get a bit of splash back up in your face and you don't really want that. No one loves this job. More materials will be removed before the water flows to special tanks for cleaning. This is a secondary screening, a six mil screen, um, where it's pumped up from the primary screening and then the heavier stuff extracted and moved on down what we call launder channels into conditioning tanks. You can see the rag and other various materials within it. Obviously, if it was just toilet paper, it wouldn't um, have such an effect on our process. Hello, is that main control? Uh, could you send a day worker up to screen three, please? It's a job for grime fighter Bren. This is the best way to deal with it. Otherwise, you end up sticking too much down there and create another blockage. It'll need to be broken up. Bren, like many grime fighters, started off in other fields. I done my apprenticeship as a bricklayer, plasterer. I've built a house apart from electrics and plumbing, really. Building trade went down the hill. I got here just in time. The filtration process isn't over. This channel is the other side of the fine screens. In there, you can see the plastics, polystyrene, and all the type of materials that we don't need in the process. With so much waste material to cope with, the machinery is stretched to breaking point. As you can see, a couple of the guys have taken um, one of the macerator pumps to pieces to replace the damage that's been done by the uh, rags, etc. Look at that, for example. You know, I mean, it's a face flannel. You know, it's amazing what people do throw away, intentionally and not intentionally. <laughs> Grime fighting is a specialised business with a vocabulary to match. This is obviously inorganic material, such as stones um, and sand, gravel, and we've got to extract this type of material before it goes through those macerators. Organic material often proves to have a life of its own. This is an example of some of the uh, seeds that come through the process. Tomato seeds, for example, pass right through the body and uh, grow anywhere. For Bob, it's not a perfect job, but he likes it. It's not everybody's cup of tea, but it's my bread and butter. 